Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be dealing with um, logarithmic functions. I'm going to graph them. I'm probably going to do a two-part video because uh, I won't have enough time. So this video is going to deal with the graphing of basic logs and one with transformations. So I have these two guys right here. I'm going to deal with this one today, and then in my next video, I'll do this. Okay, so here we have log base 2, x equals y. Now, before I, I graph, before I graph logs, there's something I always have to do. Something that, you know, helps me a lot, and helps a lot of people. I always change my log to exponential form, okay? But a lot of people might think, well, how do you do that? You know, how do you change a log to an exponential? An exponential form and an exponential function looks like this. It's um, ah, okay. Switch to it's b to the x equals y. Right? This is just a, be a basic exponential. For example, two x. This is basic exponential function. And so I want to change this to this exponential form. But how? How do I set it up? Where does the base, where's the base, where's the exponent, you know? And what do I do with this log? Well, I'm going to help you. Let me just label, I'm going to label some things and then it'll make more sense. So this 2 in your, expon in your log form function is actually your base. Okay, of your exponent, of your exponent, exponential form, whatever. Um, this is your base. The y here is your exponent. Okay, and you might be thinking, well, there's an x here for an exponent. But don't worry, I will explain everything, don't worry, and it'll make more sense. And this x is your answer. So your y is your answer here, but the x will be your answer. Okay. So if I just put it all together, and when I change it to exponential form, this log goes away because it's no longer in log form. Okay. So if I change, if I put it all together, so I have the 2 as the base, I have the y as the exponent, right, the exponent, equals the answer, which is an x. Alright, now I probably completely confused you, but this, this, has, this has a purpose. So, what changed between this and this? This is just an exponential, this is an, a log function in exponential form. So what happened? Well, we just have our x and y switched. What is that concept called when your x's and y's switch? Well, that's an inverse. And basic rule, the first and foremost rule in an inverse is to switch my x and y video, uh, x and y's. If you um, want more help with inverse functions, I have two videos. If you want to watch them, they will help you. But yes, that's what's happening. So if this is an exponential, and this is a log, and the x and y's are switched, this means they are the inverses of each other. Ha! Huh. It's interesting. So the log is the inverse of exponential. That's a great breakthrough for us. <laughs> um, okay, and then if we know that, we may have an idea of how the graph may look. And, um, well, let's see if we can predict. So, if we just graph an exponential, which is just 2 to the xy, the exponential looks something like this, correct? No, it doesn't. Something like that. This is 2x equals y. And uh, recall that when you want to graph an inverse function, you would it would basically reflect over over the line. That's not it. 
y equals over the line y equals x. So this distance would be the same thing as this distance. So this part no, would be something like that. And then this part will look something. You know, I'm doing a very bad job. Anyway, I'm just predicting. This part is going up, this part will go this way. And if it goes like that, then that means it has to go something like that. So this y equals x acts like a mirror, right? There with the reflection. This is supposed to be the same distance, but clearly my drawing skills are zero. Um, anyway, so let's see if our prediction is accurate, okay? Um, let's actually graph this thing. I'm actually going to... Alright, so just keep in mind that the log is the inverse of the exponential. It's a great thing to know. Okay. I don't want to make this video too long because it's incredibly easy um, to graph this basic log function. And even this one's very easy. And I'll show you in my next video how to do that. So, we have this. How do you graph that? Because this is the same thing as that. We just changed it to exponential form. If you graph this and you graph this, you will get the same function, okay? I guarantee you. Um, so, how do you graph this? You might be thinking. Because you know how to graph this, right? 2x, just plug in values for x and you get your y's. But what about this? The x and y's are switched. Well, despite that, I always make a table of values. I love this thing. It's my best friend in mathematics. Um, so, but you might be thinking, so if I plug in x values, that's going to be tough. I mean, what do you do with that? You have to work on this side. So instead of plugging in x values, since we're doing the inverse, we're going to work backwards. So we're going to plug in y values. Okay? Um, if I plug in a y value, I put it right here, I evaluate it, and I get my x value. Do you see what I mean? So I'll do an example and you'll get the point. Okay. So if I plug in a negative 2, 2 to the negative 2, if you know your exponent and you want and you know how to get that negative out, you put it under 1, write your base. Um, keep the exponent, just remove that integer, that negative sign, and evaluate that to be one fourth. Okay? If I do a negative one, two to the negative one, the same thing. This is a negative one. This would be a one, and it'll be one half. Okay? Two to the zeroth power, well, that's one. Anything to the zeroth power is one. Okay? Uh, to the two to the first power is just a two, and now to this two to two squared is four. Okay, so see how easy that was. We just worked backwards. We picked y values and got our x's. What do you do now? You plot and you graph. That's all. I think it's the easiest thing. Let's do that. Oops. Let's see if our prediction is correct. I'm just wondering. Okay. So our first well, our first point is one fourth. So it's there, negative two. Okay. A half, negative one. One, zero. Two, one. Four, two. Ha! Huh. So our graph, if I continue, I will um, it will slowly and gradually get higher. Log functions tend to grow in a slow manner. So our graph will roughly look something like that. Okay. And this side actually, you can pick smaller and smaller numbers, negative numbers. 
and you will get it will be tangent to this x equals 0 to this y axis okay and what does that mean well that means our prediction is correct we said that if 2 to the x of the basic exponential looks something like that its inverse will be a reflection over the y equals x so this side will be there this side will be there and we said this will go down like that so that's correct um, but there, so we're, we're done, we're absolutely done but there is one note I have to tell you remember in your exponential functions we had horizontal asymptotes so if we had 2 to the x plus 1 our graph will look something like this we would move our whole graph one unit up and this would also be the horizontal asymptote it's where the graph cannot go over this would be the new x-axis you can say see this is the original this would be the new one well you know you can think what is the opposite of a horizontal asymptote a vertical asymptote so in logs you have vertical asymptote so instead of having these types you will have these types you know what I mean so where is that asymptote where this line seems to not ever go over and touch. Well, it's this one right here. What is that? Well, that's actually x equals zero. Okay, x is this whole point. This point is actually x equals zero. This whole line. This would be x equals negative one. This would be x equals negative two. Right? The vertical asymptote right here is x equals zero. All right. So um, hopefully that made sense. And yeah, and in my next video I will be going over this. So basically, all you have to do here is um, change this log functions to log function to exponential form. Plug in y values. Get your x values and plot the point and you will get your function and you can try different bases we pick the two here try a four like in this example we're using a four try a five try a you know a three anything thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video